we close our eyes. Tell God, Lord, help me. Give me more wisdom on how to establish a firm relationship with you. Give me more understanding so that I can establish a firm relationship with you. Give me strength. It's our month of exceeding might fruitfulness. Father, help me to have a relationship with you. To know that you are closer to me than any other thing. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, God, help me to give without making any unusual announcements. In the name of Jesus. Begin to pray, begin to pray, begin to pray. Give me grace to give secretly, Lord. Give me grace to just do certain things secretly for people. Something that will be so mind-blowing that nobody will hear. But that you, O oh Lord, you will pay it forward for me. Thank you, Master Jesus. In Jesus' precious holy name, we pray. Amen. Oh, okay. Some of us are not going to be quiet today. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah.
Adoration unto your name. Father, we appreciate you. Father, we thank you. Let's thank this God. God has been so wonderful to you. Despite the foul, despite what is happening, you see her life. You can still eat. You can still drink. Many people are in, they are in their spirit. They cannot eat. They cannot talk. But you can talk. You can move. You can do anything that you want to do. Why are you not praising this God? He deserves your prayer. He deserves your thanksgiving. Let's thank him. Let's appreciate him. Father, we appreciate you. Father, we exalt you. Holy Holy name. Father, we thank you so very much. Because you are our God, you change it not. Thank you for everything. Thank you for everything, Lord. Jesus. And you can feel him. 
Thank you, Jesus. And you can see what he's doing for Thank you. you Jesus. Why can't you praise him? Father, Why can't we praise you him. appreciate this God? Father, we if honor only you. Only we are going to Father, praise we give him this you morning. Glory. If only we are Father, going to we appreciate give you him. Honor. If he's Father, enough for us today. Let's continue to thank this God. Lord, we appreciate Let's thank you. Him. Father, we, we appreciate you. Thank you so very much. We exalt you. Oh, Lord, glory we exalt you. your holy Father, name. Father, we thank you, oh Lord. We say thank you, Jesus. We say thank you, Jesus. For everything you have done for, our, for members of our family, in for our wives, for our husbands, Jesus, Father, we, we worship you we for good health, you. for good job, for the air we breathe, for the ground we, we work. You. Father, in we appreciate you. Jesus, we celebrate you. you. We say thank in you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Before we continue our prayer, let's ask God for the forgiveness of our sin. Maybe there is one thing or the other that you are doing that you notice it is not good. Anything that will make your prayer useless before God today. Let's ask God to forgive us, to have mercy. Let's ask God for, for, for the forgiveness. Father Lord, we, oh yeah, let's pray. Father Lord, in the mighty name of Father, Jesus. Father, in the name Father, of Lord, Jesus, I pray. We pray. Father, forgive me. For the forgiveness oh Lord, forgive of our me. sins. Forgive me for anything that, that will not done. let my prayer be that accepted this, this morning. Oh Lord, may you Father, forgive me. Forgive Oh Lord, forgive me. Have mercy. Oh Lord, forgive me. Lord, in the mighty mercy. name of Jesus. In the name forgive of me. Jesus. Ask for God mercy. God, Ask God for the mercy. mercy. Oh Lord, have mercy, mercy over me. Over my family. Father, over my work. Father, over Father, everything. Oh Lord, have mercy. Father, Father, mercy. It's your mercy I need now. In the name oh of Lord, Jesus. have mercy on me. Lord, have, have mercy, oh Lord. Have mercy, have mercy on me. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, have, have mercy. You said you will have mercy upon those people that you have you have mercy upon. This Lord morning, can't us worthy among Lord people that you have mercy upon. Lord oh Lord, can't us among people Lord that you have mercy upon. upon this morning, in the mercy. mighty name of Jesus, name have of mercy Jesus. on me. Lord in the mercy. mighty name of Jesus, mercy. in the mercy. mighty name of Jesus, have mercy. in the name of in Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Let's pray. Let's say, Oh Lord, remember me for good and open the book of remembrance for me today. That God should open the book of remembering, remember for you this morning. Maybe you have been struggling for one thing or the other. Maybe it's not your turn. Maybe this morning is your turn. Why can't you ask God that God should open the book of remembering for you this morning? That anything that you have been praying for is going Father. to be manifested this morning. Let's open. pray. Father, oh Lord, open Lord, the book of remembering for Lord, me open in the, the mighty of name of Jesus. Oh Lord, remember me for Jesus. good. Remember me for good this morning. Remember me for good, oh Lord. Remember me for good. Oh, put the book of heaven for me in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord, remember me. Oh Lord, remember me this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh, put the book of remembering for me. Father, just like you did unto Esther. Father, remember me today. In the mighty name Let there of be Jesus, a book remember. of remembrance remember. that will be opened for me. In, in Jesus, the name of Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Let's pray. Let's pray that I cancel and scatter every activity of devil over my life. You know, you don't know. Maybe devil already has been doing things in our life that we don't know. You're going to cancel all the activity of devil in your life. Pray, use your mouth to cancel everything that Satan has been doing over your life. Pray this way that everything should be canceled. Father, cancel every evil against me. Every evil against me. In the name every of Jesus. Every activity of devil. All the activities of the enemy. Over my life. Over my life. Over my, life, over my situation. Family, over my house. In the name of oh, Lord, Jesus. Cancel it, Lord. I cancel all the, the activities of, of the enemy. I cancel it against right me, against in my the children, name of Jesus. against I my wife. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. I cancel all the activities of the enemy. I cancel in the name of Jesus. I cancel every Father, evil report. I cancel in the name of Jesus. Every evil report against my children, against my life, against my wife. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. We are going to pray. You say you cancel every door which the devil enter through. We have so many. Uh, so many areas that Satan has been using to enter into us. Let's cancel all those areas. It might be through your dream. 
it might be through your work, it might be anywhere. You know this devil. You're not going to pray now that God will close all area that devil is using to enter you. Let's pray. Father Lord, I pray every area where devil is getting to my life, Father may you cancel them now in the name of Jesus. Cancel it in the mighty name of Jesus. Every area that devil is using every area that Satan is using to enter my life. Oh Lord, can't sweep. Any area that Satan is using to enter my house. Oh Lord, Father, can't I cancel every, every open door of, of the devil oh, into Lord, my life. I cancel such doors. Name of Jesus. Whatever I means the devil oh, is entering to my family. Sweep. Father, I cancel right I now in the, in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. I cancel it right now in the name of Jesus. I cancel it right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, all the areas that the enemy has gone into my home, that has gone into my health, into my life, into the lives of my children, I cancel in the name of Jesus. I cancel every area of the enemy in my life, in the lives of my children, in the lives of my spouse, in the in the name of Jesus, I cancel. In the name of Jesus, I cancel. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. We're going to pray. Oh Lord, restore the wasted year. Father, restore Any my wasted year. Wasted years. year in my life. Oh Lord, restore it. Father, restore. Restore it, oh Lord. All the years Let's that can come on us eating. Father, begin to restore, restore all, 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 restore all time me. that I've wasted, that the enemy restore has taken me. away from me. Father, restore me in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, restore me in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Pray, 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 pray. Everything that is left in the enemy has taken away from me. Father, restore. Father, restore in the name of Jesus. Restore. Open your mouth and pray. Pray, 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 pray. Every evil, every evil, away from me, from my life, restore in the name of Jesus. Lord, restore my time. Restore my life. Restore all those things that have wasted time. Them that the enemy in has the wasted name my time. Of Jesus. Father, restore. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's pray that God should give us our, our, our freedom. You don't know, maybe you don't have freedom. You are just walking. Let's pray. Father, I restore my Father, freedom. Father, I restore my freedom. my freedom in you, oh In the name of I Jesus. My freedom. my freedom in oh you, Lord, my liberty. Father, I restore in the name of Jesus. I am free. Father, I receive back my freedom. My freedom is restored. My liberty is restored. My liberty in you, in the name of Jesus, is restored. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Father, restore my freedom in the name of Jesus. Father, restore my liberty in the name of Jesus. Lord, begin to restore in the name of Jesus. Begin to restore in the name of Jesus. Ah, Father, restore my freedom. Give me back my freedom, my liberty, even inside of you. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Yes, Lord. Seconds. Let's ask God for one thing. Because you left your comfort zone and you are here this morning. Maybe you have one thing or the other you have been battled for. It might be this morning. Your own time might be this morning. It might be these seconds. The angels are walking around. This might be your own time. In one second, ask God for one thing. What you want God to do for you so that you can come back for the testimony. Let's pray. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Our eternal rock of ages, we appreciate you. 
We give glory, honor, and adoration unto your name. Thank we you, thank Jesus. you for the privilege given unto us to gather together in your presence thank this you, morning. Jesus. We appreciate you for your goodness in our, in our life. We thank you because you are so good to us. We thank you because you never leave us or forsaken us. Oh Lord, we say thank you. We have Hallelujah. you. All glory belong to you, Lord, in the mighty name of Amen. Jesus. Father, Lord, we commit the remaining of this, you see, this uh, service unto your care. Oh Lord, take control, Lord, in the mighty in the name Amen. Of Jesus. I pray, oh Lord Father, that our life will not remain the same, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Everything we have been asking you for, that Father, we have been praying for. Oh Lord, may you answer us, Lord, in the mighty name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father, for answering our prayer. Thank you, Lord. For I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Now, it's time for our tithe and offering. The Bible says we should bring part of what has uh, given unto us. As we are all know, 10% is our tithe, and our offering is whatever you think God has given unto you. So as we are doing this, I pray God will enrich our pocket in Jesus' name. We will not be the era of God was alone, but the dwell of God was in Jesus' name. So our choir. <laughs> appreciate you. We give you glory, honor, and adoration unto your name. We thank you for the little we are able to give. We thank you because you are going to provide more for us, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. We, prov we pray for those people that are willing to give, but they don't have. Father, we pray, Father, that you provide for them, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray, oh Lord, Father, that you continue to meet us at the very point of our need, Lord, in the mighty name of Amen. Jesus. Father, I pray, Father, at the end of today, may your name be exalted forever, for I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Shall we be seated? Praise the living Jesus. Amen. On behalf of the um, on behalf of the um, our Father and the Lord Bishop um, Felix Olabi and the First Lady, would like to welcome you to church. May the good Lord bless our coming to church today in the name of Jesus. We'll be moving very fast because we're supposed to end this at uh, 12 o'clock, but um, we'll be moving very fast. Um, shall we arise on our feet as we open our Bibles to Genesis chapter 17? Everybody, Genesis 17. We will read together. As usual, we'll all read that. We'll read from verse number one to number nine. Genesis chapter number 17. We we'll read from verse 1 to 9. Genesis chapter 17. We we'll wait for you to read. We we'll all read together. You can hold the microphone, please read too. All of us will read that verse together. Are you ready? Are you ready? Genesis 17, 1 to, um, 1 to 9. 1 to go. 
When Abraham was 99 years old, the Lord appeared to him and said, I am God Almighty. Walk before me faithfully and be blameless. Then I will make my covenant. Huh? I will, then I will make my covenant between me and you, and we greatly increase your numbers. Go ahead. Then Abraham fell on his face. Abraham fell face down, and God. Hold on, please, for me. Thank you. I think I have issues here with this thing. Okay, that's verse what? Verse three. Three, right? Yes. Okay, verse three. Let's go. Abraham fell face down, and God said to him, As for me, this is my covenant with you. You will be the father of many nations. No longer will you be called Abraham. Your name will be Abraham, for I have made you a father of many nations. I will make you very fruitful. I will make nations of you, and kings will come from you. I will establish my covenant as an everlasting covenant between me and you and your descendants after you for the generations to come to be your God and the God of your descendants after you. Verse 8. The whole land of Canaan where you now reside as a foreigner. Hey, read that verse again. Verse 8. The whole land of Canaan where you now reside as a foreigner, I will give as an everlasting possession to you and your descendants after you, and I will be their God. The last verse, verse 9, 17, 9. Want to go? Then God said to Abraham, As for you, you must keep my covenant and your descendants after you for the generations to come. Quickly go to Isaiah 44. Quickly, quickly. There's something that the Lord is showing us here this morning and we need just to listen to him as he shows us this um, Bible uh, truth. Isaiah, Isaiah. Uh, hold on, Isaiah chapter 44. I don't know what is wrong with this thing. Isaiah 44. Uh, uh, Isaiah 44, I'm coming, I'm coming, please. Ah, something is about to happen. Please note that 17, 17, 8. Note that 17, 8. Note that 17, note it, note it. That 17, 8. Just note it down. Isaiah 44. Mm. From verse 1. When we get to... Uh, when we get to three, we stop from verse one. One to go. But now listen, Jacob, my servant, Israel, whom I have chosen, this is what the Lord says. He who made you, who formed you in the womb, and who will help you. Do not be afraid, Jacob, my servant, Jeshurun, whom I have chosen, for I will pour water on the thirsty land and streams on the dry ground. I will pour out my spirit on your offspring and my blessing on your descendant. For they will spring up like grass in the middle, like poplar trees by flowing streams. Five, some will say, I belong to the Lord. Others will call themselves by the name of Jacob. Still others will write on their hand the laws and will make them Israel. Father, in the name of Jesus. The Bible confirms that your word is yea and amen. Father, we thank you for an opportunity that we have to speak your word today. It is not by power nor by might, but by my spirit, see the Lord. Father, as we speak your word this hour, Father, manifest your power in the name of Jesus. Ah, manifest your power in the name of Jesus. Lord, the word we are going to hear today will transform our lives to the next level in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Master Jesus. 
In Jesus' matchless name we pray. And the church say, Amen. Shall we be seated? Brethren, I'm so excited because of what we're about to witness in the hands of God. Our monthly um, motto or the topic for the month or our declaration of the month. Who knows the declaration for the month of um, April? The declaration for the month of April. You are not in the spirit. Is that what you are saying? Is exceeding might fruitfulness. Hello? Say exceeding might fruitfulness. And that is the topic of our discussion today. The topic of the word of God we are going to be sharing. Exceeding might fruitfulness. If you remember this song right back from home. It's not by might. It's not by might. It's not by power. It's not by power. But by my spirit says the Lord. It's not by power. It's not by it's not by might. It's not by might. But by my spirit raises uh, this mountain. This mountain must be removed. This mountain must be removed in Jesus' name. This mountain must be removed by my spirit. Read, says the. There was some day I told you here that you belong to the King of Kings, that you have a relationship with the one that created heaven and earth, that as you are seated, you are a king, as you are seated, you are a God. The Bible says that don't you know that ye are gods? The Bible confirms the fact in Genesis chapter 126. He said, let us come and make man in our own image. And that you have been made in the image of God. So I need you to sit down comfortably because you are the image of God. Hallelujah somebody. I said the topic of our discussion or of what we want to share from the word of God today is exceeding might fruitfulness. There's nothing that you can do with your power. There's nothing you can achieve with your strength. There's nothing, absolutely nothing that you can achieve with your intelligence. No matter how you are a construction worker, no matter how you are an engineer, there are certain things that cannot be done by you if not the power of God in your life. Praise God somebody. You can be an accountant. You can be a lawyer. There are certain things that cannot be done with your power, with your mind, with your intelligence. If not by the spirit of God. Praise God somebody. Exceeding might fruitfulness. He promised us fruitfulness all through the year. And most of us have been witnessing the fruitfulness. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah, somebody. So he's telling us today that it is only through his might that we can be fruitful. Hello, somebody. It is only through the might of God, the strength of God, the capacity of God that you can be fruitful. Praise God, somebody. So he's telling us that exceeding might fruitfulness. Do you understand? Do you, do, have you ever sat down one day to understand the gravity of what happened at the Red Sea? Have you ever sat down one day to begin to think in your spirit, what was that that happened in a minute? Praise God, somebody. The Bible confirms the fact that the children of Israel were under bondage. They were under serious slavery. They were enslaved by the Egyptians. For over 400 years, for 430 years they've been living, out of those 430 years, they were enslaved for 400 years. 
And when it was time for God to release them from slavery, he did not release them just anyhow. He released them with his might. God is going to release somebody here today with his might in the name of Jesus. If you don't understand the God you serve, if you don't understand the mightiness of God you serve, if you don't understand the capacity of the God you serve, then the devil will use you anyhow. Hello, somebody. You must begin to understand the kind of power, the kind of orchestration of the God that you serve. What is it that is going on in your life today? That the power and the might of God cannot resolve. But if you don't understand it, if you don't understand the mechanisms, if you don't understand the nuggets of the power of the living God you serve, you will remain in that position and the devil will just be kicking you back, left, right, and back. Praise God, somebody. Exceeding might fruitfulness. He took the children of Israel out of Egypt with his might. He sent a man at 80 years old to go and rescue them. And he spoke to the authorities that be. What or who are the authorities that are bowing your head down? That are making you to feel less than yourself? That are making you to feel as if you are not serving a living God? Something is about to happen to them today in the name of Jesus. So the Lord took them out with his might. The host of the Egyptians were at the back. They were coming with their chariots. We all knew all the pestilences. He forced them out. He forced the hand. He forced the hand of Pharaoh to release the children of Israel. The Lord will force the hand of your enemies to release you today in the name of Jesus. Amen. You will see the mightiness and the capacity of God in your life today in the name of Jesus. Amen. He took them out of Egypt with his might. The chariots of Israel were at the back. Have you ever been in a situation where you cannot move forward? You cannot go backwards? You cannot go sideways? You cannot move to the left sideways? But listen, the Lord that saved the children of Israel from the chariots of the Egyptians will save you today. In the name of Jesus. If the choir is helping me sing this song, God will make our way. Where there seems to be no way. Yes. In a way you cannot see. He will have a way for me. He will be my guide. Thank you. Everybody. New day. He will make a way. He will make a way. There was no way for the, uh, for the children of Israel to be saved from the wrath of Pharaoh. There was no way. How can you see the, uh, the giant Red Sea and the chariots from the back? But something unique happened because he is a God that makes ways where there be no ways. What kind of situation have you found yourself today? What is that problem you are facing today? Why just don't you remember this great mighty hand of God in the wilderness where he saved the children of Israel? See, today archaeologists cannot phantom it. People cannot give an answer to what happened there. And you are serving the same God still. And you belong to that same God. Praise God, somebody. So with his mighty hand... He can save you and is about to save you today in the name of Jesus. He's going to save you from yourself. He's going to save you from those who want to kill you. He's going to save you from household enemies because you belong to him and you are his child. Let's quickly go to where we read today. Let's go to, um, uh, that's where we are going to bring out exceeding uh, might fruitfulness. Where did we read, please? Genesis, you forgot it. Genesis what? 17. So which means it does not matter your age. It does not matter your age. Whether you are 12, whether you are 15, whether you are 25, whether you are 56, whether you are 40, whether you are 52. 
God is not, does not determine your blessing by your age. Hello, somebody. Hello, somebody. <laughs> Are you listening? When Abraham was 99 years old, the Lord appeared to him. The Lord did not look at his age. At 99, the Lord appeared to him. He did not say, look, he's just 15 years old. He did not say he's just 99 years old. I won't appear to him. He's too old. There's nothing good that can come from him again. My blessings is not meant for people that are as old as that. No! That was so ever age. When it's time for your blessing, the Lord will visit someone here in the name of Jesus. Don't forget, exceeding faith fruitfulness. When it was time, he appeared to him. And he gave him some conditions. Listen, there are times for you to access a bank. For you to access your account in a bank. What are those things that you need to do? To access your account in a bank. What, what are those things you need to do? To have access to your own funds. To have access to your own money in the bank. What are those things that you need to do? One, password. Two, account. Thank you. Very important. Account number. ATM card. You go online. You put your password. And you can access your money, right? And you need to put the amount of money there, right? Are you following? For you to access, somebody to read, somebody to read um, um, verse 2. No, one, yes, yeah, somebody to read. Read verse 1. Well, you want me to read? When Abraham was 99 years old, the Lord appeared to him and said, I am God Almighty. Look at, look at those things he needs to assess the, the, the blessings of God. These are the things that you and I need to assess the blessings of God. Listen carefully. Listen carefully. He said, I am God Almighty. Number one, walk before me faithfully. Number two, be blameless. Verse two, then I will make my covenant between me and you and will greatly increase your numbers. Number one, for you to begin to access the blessings of God that is already there for you, that has been made for you, you need to, number one, do what? Walk with God faithfully. You cannot be disloyal to him. You cannot be unfaithful to him. What does it mean to walk with God faithfully? That means you are working, you have a relationship with him. If you have your wife with you, if you have your husband with you, if you have your son with you, you cannot be disloyal to your son. You cannot be disloyal to your wife. You have to walk with your wife or your son or your daughter faithfully. The Lord said, walk before me faithfully. Come to church. Do the work of God. Do the work of kingdom. Faithfully. Because of what? You want to assess the blessings of God. Somebody say assess the blessings of God. Then he says, be blameless. I'm reading NIV. He says, be blameless. Be blameless. If I walk for an organization and I am the best staff, it means I come to my job regularly, faithfully, on time. I do what I'm supposed to do. I am always there. Whether there's snow, whether there's eclipse of the sun tomorrow, I will still go to my job. Then I can be made the best staff. And Mr. K can go ahead and give me $750 uh, dollars in my account. as been the best staff for the year. You know why? Because I was faithful. I, I, I was blameless. Nobody can see I did not make any error in my, in my MAR, in my medication, with the clients. I am blameless. So which means for you to begin to assess the blessings of God, even at any age, at 15, at 45, at 55, at whatever age, you need to be blameless before God. Hallelujah. He now made a promise. Then I will make my covenant between me and you, and we greatly... Increase your numbers. Lord, increase my numbers. As we are seated, begin to pray. Father, increase my numbers. Increase the number of my generation. I intend to walk with you blameless. I intend to walk with you faithfully. Father, increase my numbers. Increase my numbers. In the name of Jesus. 
In Jesus' name we pray. Open your eyes. You see, what it means to increase your number, that you will be great. You are four today. Your wife, two children, and of course what? And your wife, two children, and the husband. That's four. So which means when you think God, the Lord says it will increase your numbers, those your children will begin to give birth. Their own children will begin to give. They won't give birth to only two. Maybe one will give birth to four. Another will give birth to five. From there, they continue to multiply and you become great. And you can do mighty things. Praise God, somebody. Abraham fell face down and God saw, and said to me, and God said to him, as for me, this is my covenant with you. You will be the father of many nations. No longer will you be called Abraham. Your name will be Abra, Abraham. The Lord is about to change your name. Ah. Okay, maybe we just end this. Even time self. I said the Lord will change your name. Amen. It does not mean that they have to change it from uh, Kayode to Kayode. Mm -mm. You know when the Lord changes your name, people out there will call that name with respect. I was listening to somebody talking about Ashake. You know the Ashake that plays music. So there was a guy that, uh, this Elisha guy, the son of Elisha was answering to some interviews. So the guy said, so Ashake used to be your friend. You need to move around together every time. So what's happening between you and Ashake now? You know what that guy said? He said, ah, look at that name you mentioned. You just mentioned Ashake like that? Your name will be mentioned somewhere and people will be afraid. In the name of Jesus. That means that he has changed the name of that Ashake to something else. That when you mention the name of Raymond, I ah, don't mention Raymond here. Yeah. It's with the president right now. Ah, you have mentioned Baba Akbar's name. No, 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 no. It's not in our level again now. So shall be your portion in the name of Jesus. If you don't believe it, don't say amen. So shall be my own portion in the name of Jesus. In us, in us, so God will change your name. He will give you a new name, a new glory in the name of Jesus. It is our month of exceeding might. And it is only the might of God that can make this to come to pass. Who are you? Who knows where you come from? What is your generation that God wants to lift you up in this land? Verse 8. And we end it there. Because it is only through the mighty hand of God that he can make things happen. Somebody to read verse 8. Verse 8. The whole land of Canaan, wherever you reside now as a foreigner. Ah, hold on, hold on. Please go to that verse. And if you have NIV on your phone or whatever, please, you need to read that, everybody. Uh, because something is about to, you know we are all foreigners here, right? Okay. Look at the promise of God for you to be living in this land. I've never seen this Bible verse before. I saw it only yesterday. Praise God, somebody. NIV, please. The whole land of Canaan. The whole land of Canaan. Where you now reside. Where you foreigner, now reside as a foreigner. I will give you an everlasting. I will possession give you an as an everlasting possession. To you and your descendants after you. And, and I will be their God. Are you not excited? Ah, Jesus. Yes. How do I explain this better? Ah, ah, it is only, thank you, man. It is only the, amen. It is only the mighty hand of God that can take, that can make you take possession of the land of America. It's not only just going to bless you your own land, but his mighty hand, he said, even as a foreigner, he will give you possession of this land. That he will give you this land. And we are in April. So which means you are going to dominate this land. No matter what you are doing right now, you are dominating. Ah, please, if you get on read, read the NIV more. It says, I will give as an everlasting possession to you, not only to you, not only to your children, no, to your descendants. So, which means the name of Anadedayo cannot be cancelled on this land. 
the name of Bright and his lineage upon the land of America can never be canceled. So which means the name of Raymond can never be canceled on this land because it's going to give you possession of the land. Amen. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. So which means the name of Olafusi will remain in this land. Their descendants will enjoy the fruit of this land. It can only be done by the mighty hand of God. And that is the God that you are serving. That even as a foreigner, you take over. Somebody was a Kenyan. The Kenyan became the president of this country. Talking about Obama. So why is it that a Nigerian, that person that came from your loins, that in another 15, 20 years or 5 years or 10 years from now, will become the president of this great country. Because the name of Obama can never be canceled. When the two girls start having children now, that name will be there forever. Praise God somebody. So this is the kind of fruitfulness that the Lord wants to give you in the month of April. Because of what is our exceeding uh, might fruitfulness. And this is where I'm going. That the mighty hand of God the might and the capacity of God can make this happen. And it can only happen if you walk faithfully in his presence and if you are blameless. So you can begin to access all that blessings that he has for you. And part of the blessings he has for you, I don't care whether you are a child here, whether you are still in school, whether you are a father, whether you are self-employed, whether you are even still working under anybody. The Lord is promising you today that he will give you this land as a possession. Amen. And that your descendants will reign supreme in this land. Amen. In the name of Jesus. And it is only through the capacity and the mind of God that will make it happen. In the name of Jesus. Do we understand what we're saying today? Do we get the drift? So please, you see, when you don't have knowledge of God, you will think that nothing is impossible. But there's a portion of the Bible that says, with our God, nothing shall be impossible. It says all things, not one thing, are what? Possible. All things are what? Possible. So today as you go home, go and read Genesis 17, 1 to 9 again. If you have a Bible at home, or that phone belongs to you, just make sure you mark that area and begin to live with that concept, with that idea, with that with that pronunciation from the mouth of God. He took Abraham to Canaan. Abraham took over. We all know the exploits of Abraham and his descendants in the land of April. I mean, the land of Canaan. And that was why the Egyptians felt that they grew so strong because there was a blessing upon them. There will be a blessing upon your household today in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Upon this land, you will become kings yeah. in the name of Jesus. So this month is your month because the mighty hand of God will make things happen for you. That contract you've been running after, you will get it. That land, that house, those things you want to get, you will get it. Because the hand, the mighty hand of God will start a process that you yourself don't understand. How can you come from one village in Oshogo or from one village in Ogun State? And the Lord is saying it's going to make you to have possession in this land. And so shall it be. In Jesus' name we pray. Shall we rise on our feet? Shall we rise on our feet? Let's begin to thank God for his word. Let's begin to thank him because of his promises to us. Daniel. Let's begin to thank him for his promises. For everything that he has done so well for us. Let's thank him, let's thank him, let's thank him. And let's begin to thank him because he has some plans for us. That he will bless us exceedingly. And his mighty hand will make us fruitful. Father, let your mighty hand make me fruitful in this land. In the name of Jesus, I will be fruitful. Those things that are so difficult for me, allow your mighty hand to resolve them for me in the name of Jesus. Father, as I go this week, I will have testimony. Pray that prayer. We will have testimonies in the name of Jesus. We will have testimonies in the name of Jesus. We will have testimonies 
in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' matchless name, we pray. Amen. And so, Father Lord, as directed by you as a divine direction, Father, we pray upon this communion that the grace and power of God that is inherent in this uh, simple meal, that thou, you, Lord, will turn it to healing in our bodies. Amen. Blessings for this week. In the name of the Father Amen. and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Take the communion. Um, just go ahead. Uh, take the communion. Uh, eat the bread and uh, drink the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. We plead the blood the blood of as you're drinking, just believe that any ailment in your body, any 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 sickness, anything in your body right now is taking is taking a recovery right now. We plead the blood, the blood of Jesus. Anything in your body, we plead the blood, blood. 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 We plead the blood, blood of Jesus. If you have also, if you have anything, just believe God is healing you right now. In Jesus' name, amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Announcements. Once we have, um, once we go into summer, we'll start our evangelism so we are making flyers we are making um, um, invitation cards to people to come and worship with us uh, we have some Nigerians here who has been confirmed uh, that there are Nigerians in fact there is a Nigerian church here in um, Egastown so we will take over Egastown for Jesus in Jesus name he said wherever we step our feet into we will take possession so we take possession of this land in the name of Jesus. So we have soldiers already on ground. And to lead us is uh, General Kayo Diade Dayo. So we have our generals. Another general is here. Big general, General Raymond. General Mike. Apostle General um, Bright. And uh, this small lieutenant, Tabi. Is here too. So we all go out, distribute our flyers, go to Walmart, go to African stores if they have it here. We just distribute one Saturday. We'll do it and we believe God will answer us quickly in the name of Jesus. We will invite your love forces too, uh, Mofe. I will even beg them in uh, this and I'll be bringing you every Sunday here. <laughs> we'll bring you every Sunday. Because today's, um, today's um, songs are. Please clap for the choir. We have a powerful choir now. Ah ah. I don't know you sing so well, Lomofe. Ah ah. Ah ah. Turn on. Turn on. Turn on him. You have to. Uh, Pastor Bryce, we need to teach him those, uh, that turn on. If you like his voice, now turn on. Very fantastic voice. And look at uh, my girl there, Praise. Ah ah. I don't know you can lead. Hey, Jesus shall know me. We will beg them in a uh, body in the headquarters. So. To release them for us, so we'll be bringing you every Sunday. Don't worry, we live in the same house. I just once I'm ready, I'll bring you. Help us beg them, oh! Uh, I beg. Ah, uh -uh. today was so special. I uh, welcome them back to the church. They came here the first time we had inauguration. Please let me clap for them. Welcome the Olafusis, Emmanuel Olafusi, and praise Olafusi. Those are my wonderful children. Um, may God help us. We'll plan, eh, Mufe. You will begin. You will help us inquire. You help Mr. Apostle Bright too, uh -huh, because you know I told you your teacher is here. He thought you are no longer here, or that you have traveled to Nigeria since. Uh -huh. So you will help us there. You will help us inquire, so that Daniel, because when I sing with Daniel, hmm, I know Daniel will always be praying that. Oh, uh, don't he must not sing today. You know he will be praying silently because I'm always back there and I'm always confusing him. I will sing A, you will sing C. But today, we thank God. 
The choir is forming in Jesus' name. So we will take over Agar's town in the name of Jesus. Grace of God will be upon this, this, this house in the name of Jesus. This room shall be fire. Anyone that comes here will receive the glory of God. They will receive healing. It's a, it's a land of solution in the name of Jesus. I will be praying now that God will give us our own pastor in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Shall we pray? Father, we thank you. We worship you. We had fun in your presence. We had good time. And we are excited because of this new week. We are excited because we are coming back with testimonies. Father, we thank you for the testimony of the person that got a driver's uh, passed a driving test. Father, we thank you for the testimony of your son that has life. We thank you for the testimony of the one that got a huge contract. Father, accept our praises in the name of Jesus. We will thank you again next Sunday because we believe this week you will do something unusual for us in the name of Jesus. I commit you into the hands of God. When you got about feeling low walking for, when you would have feeling low walking fire, Bobari Ben, Ni Uruko Jesu, go well this week in the name of Jesus. Go and do exploits. Go and do wonderfully well. No bad news in your household. No bad news upon your family. No bad news. No death. No evil. This week in the name of Jesus. You will keep the entire church of God all over the world. India, Pakistan, Africa, Nigeria, Agastan, Baltimore. You keep us safe in the name of Jesus. Our kingdom first that is coming, you will take over, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Master Jesus. In Jesus' Much less name we we'll pray. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. Amen. Our confession of faith. The Lord God is our strength. He will make our feet like hands feet. He will make us to walk upon our high places in Jesus' name. Amen. The Lord God is my strength. It will make my feet like hinds feet. It will make me to walk upon my high places in Jesus' name. Amen. Bless somebody. The Lord God is your strength. It will make your feet like hinds feet. It will make you to walk upon your high places in Jesus' name. Amen. Seven hundred. Hallelujah. 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 Let's give Jesus a clap of friend. Somebody say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus.